There are so many ideas that Mojang could add into Minecraft. So here's just 15 epic ideas that Mojang could add in 1.21 and beyond. And the very first idea gives a new incentive to explore ancient cities and to kill wardens. What if when the warden was eliminated, it dropped a block or item that could be used to craft or build the skulk or deep dark dimension? It would create a great incentive to find an ancient city and to interact with the scary warden and try to defeat it. And depending on on how large this portal or what this portal will need, maybe you'll have to kill the warden multiple times. That would boost the incentive and make the game more challenging and kind of scary, so exciting. Onward, 1.20 added many things that you can use to express yourself. This includes armor trims. With this, what if they could expand the functionality of the glow ink sack? Not only would you be able to use it to glow item frames and sign text, but you could make your trim glow. Glowing armor trim could be really epic, especially when traversing at night. And if they continue to change the lighting engine, it could appear like a glare coming off of your armor. But of course, this new lighting would have to be optimized because the game needs a lot of optimization and fixing especially with bedrock especially how buggy that version of the game is while 1.20 had optimization changes i don't really find them to be enough since so many players are expressing that they want more optimization so the game can run much smoother on their devices Another thing that we would like to see is a desert update. In the 2018 biome vote, Mojang proposed new changes to the desert biome, since it is the plainest biome in the overworld. This desert update would include at least palm trees and meerkats, but we could see them implement coconuts or different cactuses. But not only could it be the desert update, we could also add the savanna features like termites and ostriches. Mojang said that the changes proposed in these biome votes would eventually come into the game. You know, speaking of palm trees, look at this shirt. Yeah. It's available now. Check it out. Now, the most recommended feature to Mojang for 1.20 was jungle villages. The village and pillage update did not include jungle villagers or villages. I imagine this village being unique compared to the other biomes. That being houses and buildings in the trees connected by wooden walkways and stuff like that, that would be amazing. But time will tell if Mojang adds jungle villagers. Onward, when was the last time you went to a woodland mansion? Well, probably not recently. Mainly because woodland mansions are not really worth it. Why travel thousands of blocks when you could get the prized item, the Totem of Undying, from a village raid? That is why I think it would be in the best interest of Mojang to remove the ability for the Totem of Undying to drop during village raids. Because as it stands now, having the totems drop during village raids ruins the entire purpose that the Woodland Mansion was for. The Woodland Mansion was supposed to be the headquarters of the evil villagers, the illagers, and they had a very valuable item, the Totem of Undying, which would resurrect you when you died. But as it is now, you're able to farm illager raids just completely devalues this powerful item. Another great idea for Mojang is revamping the dungeon structure. As the current dungeon is very very basic and there's not much of a challenge unless there's already a horde of zombies or skeletons but generally speaking it's not a difficult thing to defeat on the other hand mojang could update dungeons to be more of a sophisticated style and structure potentially making it more difficult or tedious to conquer they could do this by expanding the functionality and scale of dungeons perhaps matching the trial chambers or even being connected with them an updated dungeon structure would be a great gateway to new exclusive items weapons, and maybe a new boss, which we'll talk about that soon. Speaking of new items, what if Mojang added a new weapon that could be found or crafted via the trial chambers or in updated dungeon structures? There are many weapon types that Mojang can add in Minecraft. To name a few, they could add scythes, mythical swords, or maybe even copper knuckles. That would be another use for copper. You can make a unique weapon that increases the damage dealt to players and mobs with your fist. It's kind of wacky, but it's also kind of an interesting idea. However, if you wanted to make it more rare, maybe it would require to be found in the trial chambers or a piece needed from the trial chambers in order to craft them. New weapons don't necessarily have to be better weapons. They could instead offer different playstyles that may require exploration or conquering a trial chamber. Furthermore, new combat mechanics would help improve the addition of trial chambers. So it may be time to bust out the combat snapshots that were discontinued. 
dude. In the last combat snapshot in 2020, Mojang was testing stackable potions, saturation changes, and more. New changes to the combat system in Minecraft would be great for player retention by shaking things up. Okay, Mojang needs to finally add this feature, that being the bundles. The bundles were announced way back in 2020 that would put a twist on the inventory system, but it's been delayed in every update since. It was even tested in 1.20, but was not officially added. And as you guys pointed out, the reason for not adding it because they can't figure out how to make it work on mobile. I think this is kind of ridiculous. Hindering features just because they can't be added on mobile edition. So maybe Mojang needs to split the mobile edition from the update cycle. Otherwise, this will continue to prevent some features from being implemented in Java and on consoles. This is the exact same reasoning with the offhand. How the heck are you supposed to use that on a touchscreen device? Another thing that Mojang has forgotten about is the fletching table. The fletching table was added in the village and pillage update but it still has no function but this is likely because of the incomplete combat update this update would change the features of arrows and the blocks texture supports this idea so when functionality is actually added it will be dealing with arrows bows or possibly other projectiles come on guys you You've been saying that you would add functionality to this ages ago. This next idea is perhaps one of the most interesting. What if, in very rare instances, when the player is sleeping, they get transported to a mysterious or scary dimension, thus being a dream? The player can explore and extract this weird setting as normal, but if the player dies, they just wake up back into the real world. Furthermore, there would have to be some sort of objective portal or maybe even a time limit that once completed would bring the player back Back to the world with the items extracted from the dream. That would be pretty interesting, but it would have to be really rare in my opinion. A quality of life update that I think most of us would really favor would be a spider improvement where they're actually able to walk vertically and upside down. That would be so much more interesting and engaging with the player. And with that, Mojang should add glowing eyes to the spiders. So in pitch black caves, you can just see red eyes crawling up the walls of the cave. That would be pretty cool. Onward, by far one of the most requested things Mojang needs to add is a new boss. A new boss would open the door for a new objective for players to complete in their world, which may provide the radical change that Minecraft needs. Based on the so far theme of Minecraft 1.21, it appears that the trial chambers may house a new boss. And don't forget that in 2023, Mojang teased in a YouTube short answering, have you plan of adding a new boss? And the villager shakes his head yes and makes affirming noises. And based on that, we are bound to get a new boss and it might be 1.21. That does raise the question, what kind of boss would Mojang add? We really don't know. If the boss lives or is activated in the trial chambers, what if there was a mini boss? More specifically, a mini boss that somewhat correlates with the breeze mob. That's why Mojang should add the wind caller from Minecraft Dungeons as a mini boss. Both mobs could share the same type of magic, wind, and could work together to, you know, stop the player from collecting any riches that may be in the trial chamber. The Windcaller would be another Illager mob, but it would be very unique with these new wind powers. To add on to that, what if Mojang added the losing mob boat candidate, the Copper Golem? The Copper Golem would easily fit in this update, simply just based on the amount of copper that's in the trial chambers. These chambers could be its natural habitat, roaming free, interacting with buttons and doors. Many of these ideas could revive player engagement in Minecraft and could prevent Minecraft's death, but clearly Mojang wasn't able to prevent the deaths of Minecraft spin-offs. Speaking of which, how did every single Minecraft spin-off fail? Like what?